it's time to say good holy mother this thing is heavy yeah. also we should probably turn it off oh good idea it's finally time to say goodbye to desk pc gen 1 and i could only think of one appropriate way to properly send her off good night sweet prince Yeah, that's right. After four long years, Desk PC Gen 2 is on the brink of completion. All we've got to do is take all of this, and all of this, and all of this, and put it all together. Yeah, no problem, it'll be fast. It's gonna take a while. Oh God, this is gonna be tough. And it's gonna be sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet has redefined the traditional wallet with its compact frame and RFID blocking plates. Keep your wallet bulged down and use offer code LINUS to save 10% and get free worldwide shipping at the link below. I don't wanna get this thing broken on the floor. Uh, we didn't think of this. No, no. Are no. you gonna? I'm, I'm just go. gonna walk him. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Hold on a second, how much does this cost? A, a lot, don't drop it. This build had two main goals. Number one was to make it as thin as possible, and number two was to give up absolutely nothing in terms of performance. Now, as you guys know, those are kind of conflicting goals, but the specs of this machine are absolutely bananas. We've got a 32 core AMD Threadripper 3970X. We've got 64 gigs of ballistics max memory. It's got a Zenith 2 Extreme motherboard, 10 gig networking, and an RTX 3070. All of it coming in at a total thickness of just under eight centimeters. One of the challenges was figuring out mounting for our 10 gig network card. The original plan for the machine was to use the onboard networking, but because of a compatibility issue, we had to add one midway through the project, which necessitated a redesign of this backplate here. So now we've got this riser, which conveniently is at least kind of nice looking thanks to a quick blast of Plasti Dip. We've got our ugly green network card and <clears throat> blacked out, a little something like that. And then we had to <clears throat> get a little creative with our graphics card, putting this little spacer block just under there. If you look, the only right angle fittings we could find that were low profile enough are these really cool Coolance ones. They're just like a little, little like right angle block. And then we're using three separate fittings, a little extension and two fittings to go from our pump to the GPU. Now we get our first regretful moment running the RGB for our block. No problem. See, we've got a nice little cable management hole. Can you see it down there? It's super great. Running the 12 pin power for the GPU through it. Not so great. Oh my God, have we like seen if this actually reaches? No. Oh boy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Might've gone in the wrong hole. It's a good thing this GPU doesn't actually screw in in any way and just sits here. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes and plug it in here. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes and gonna plug right in here. We might have bent this back panel a little bit here, but that's okay. We were kind of planning to reimagine that a little bit later anyway. If every part of this build is that nerve wracking, then we are in for a wild ride. <laughs> oh, it's bad on it. No! And I have to buy it. You guys might have noticed we've got these little 3D printed hose holders here. What we're gonna do is once we've got everything actually stuck down, we're gonna kind of move it out of the way, drill a little hole, and then they're gonna hold them perfectly straight exactly where they need to go. I don't know if that's a good idea, Colin. Actually, it's probably a pretty good idea. Oh! We found a leak, a potential leak. So we're taking a male to male swivelly boy because what this leak needs is more O-rings. Uh, oh, one second. Oh, Joyce, what? Is she wet? Yeah, she's a little wet. She's a wet boy. <laughs> okay. And that is it. That's all the radiator I get. I've had people telling me that this is crazy since the project started. It's actually not that crazy. The fans for the radiators are over here. These are gonna draw fresh air in from under the desk. 
then it's just going to create positive pressure inside. That positive pressure has to go somewhere. And yes, we'll lose some of it in holes like this, but I think most of it will go out these radiators. We will find out. And then we just give this a little, ah, not what I wanted to do. You killed it. Nope, do nobody you, panic. Do you need a hammer? Stop, hammer time. No! Oh boy, could it have been more perfect? Yeah, oh, I don't know, probably. Under pressure, getting copyright striked. <laughs> okay, pressure test, pressure test. What you don't wanna do is turn your giant reservoir into an air pressure bomb. I'm just gonna give it a little bit. This looks sick. We, we, we have a minor problem. A leak we can't find because it's so small we can't even hear it. This thing is draining in about one eighth of a bar. So we gotta find that. But have you really listened to your PC lately? It's such a small leak. Do we just fill it? Oh, gee, oh, gee, he's calling. <laughs> I don't know if that's a very good idea. <laughs> oh, we might want to put the glass on. What now? Because it'll rest on this whole side. Hup, hup, ho, we've got thingamaboover stuck to it. Uh-huh. They might interfere. Nope. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Dang, that is super thin. Is that supposed to be there? That gap? No, that's sag. Oh. Straight up sag. So we need to... We'll just put, we can put a little block in there. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and make this into two pieces. Back. It's important that the glass sits as flush on the wood as possible because if we don't have a seal inside, then we can't force the air from our fans to come out through the radiators and we're not gonna have any cooling. Can we just Google how to adjust the thing in the movie? Yeah, we can. Okay. But I figure we'll do that later. What could go wrong? Literally. Don't say that, don't say that. The nail shoots all the way through the wood, goes into the glass, it shatters. <laughs> it cuts up the tubing. Stop. <laughs> A piece of shattered glass lodges itself in Linus's spleen. He slowly bleeds out over the coming weeks. Oh my God. Leaving his children fatherless, his parents childless. Actually, they'll be okay. They've got four other children. Why is that end not, oh, this isn't square. I can hit it on the belt sander and just like trim that in just a little so it matches. Yeah, that's fine. The goal today is get it done, not get it perfect. Dun, 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 dun. We're plugging in the GPU. I'm firing my laser. So we've got these custom eight pin, Ah, CPU power connectors here. And hmm, does this only have one of, oh, it has two, it's on the other side. Okay. I don't think we're gonna make it. That's okay, we don't actually need it. We're at the point where we need to fill it again and we really cannot figure out where the leak is. So I'll can do it again. Do you mind killing the light for a second? I don't hear anything. It's the res. Yeah. If it blows up, I want it to be right into my chest cavity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Can I just have some good news today? Oh, you may notice that the reservoir is still bulging. It's because uh, the seal is, is actually good. Uh, we just didn't close the valve. You know what? That is great news because that means I'm gonna be on time for WAN show today. I got a thing we're gonna need. We gotta do this. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Oh, ah, is it gonna hit it? Oh God. What are you doing, Linus? See, we gotta tip it over to fill it. You put it on the wrong side, you dingus. What, the, the fill port's here. What are you talking about? This might be a three person job. Alex, do you mind? You know what? You guys seem to have it under control. All right, see you later. Now it's a two person job. Okay, I'll move them. Oh. Hey! Yeah, now might be a good time for you to figure out where you want your up down switch. How about next? Hey, this is upside down. That was Matthias's job. I'm passing that buck entirely to Matthias. If I fix, I six. Oh, balls. I, I spilled already. Why? How, 
How did I spill already? Hey, it's from lttstore.com. Uh, it's reflective. It was on purpose, wasn't it? It was totally on purpose. David knows what's up. It's leaking? You piece of shit. That is not funny, David. Do you have any idea how many years this project has taken off Colin's life? At least two. The best thing about your employer shaving years off your life is they're all the years that your employer won't miss anyway. I love feeling like I'm 35. Damn, son. Okay, this is a lot of water. Yeah, yep. It's exciting. Okay, uh, yeah. it's plugged in. Okay, I'm hitting it. Ooh, that's a drip. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is this water coming from? I think it's just dripping down. Okay, let's hope. We just fill it and stop worrying about it? Rock on, brother. And that, my friends, is why I hire engineers. This is shut off and it is flowing through the radiators. It's hot because it doesn't work without the glass. I'm gonna tip it. Yeah. And then we can elevate this corner now. Whoop. Yep. Here we go. Let's hope uh, it still fits on. Don't slip. Thermal expansion. Uh, corner. Drop it. Yeah. Uh, we didn't wire up the power button. I don't have extensions for that today. Holy bananas, it's actually on. What are the odds this thing is just working? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? The num lock is working. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> I really would like it to turn on. Okay, come on, baby. It's display port, so maybe we need to power cycle it. Oh, it's DP. Yeah. Oh, we probably need to power cycle it then. Yeah. Go for a lift. And you want to do a button? Okay, perfect. Are you good? Yep. Okay. This is bigger than my old desk too, isn't it? Yes. <gasps> yeah, okay, it's up, it's up, yeah. it's up, it's up. <sighs> okay, I can breathe now. <sighs> Ensure to connect both the eight pin and four pin power plugs. Oh, it actually really does want that second one. Okay. We can fix that. Suddenly got really hot in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Holy crap balls. Are those all threads? Uh, yeah, it has a lot of threads. There's gonna be time for it to- I don't think the fan controller is even hooked up. Well, I don't know. Let's see how it does if it's just running super quiet. We might be somewhat power limited because we only have that single eight pin, but apparently the CPU is 94% loaded on all 32 cores. It's going, boys. Yeah, you feel the heat? They're pushing, yeah, for sure. So, in the theory, worked. So far. You know, there would have been a hundred other points in this process where we could have tested the theory of whether the cooling will work before actually you know, completing small it. small scale. Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't. And we have basically leveled out here at around 70 degrees on the CPU. No matter what I throw at this thing, I cannot make it thermal throttle. Both the CPU and GPU are under 80, well under 80 degrees at their hottest points. So this is my hottest CCD right here. It actually worked. <laughs> Just got some finishing touches to put on it. And then I get to move this into my office. You know, the funny thing is the people this is gonna benefit the most are actually my writers who sit next to me while we review scripts and constantly whack their knees and the insides of their thighs on the corners of that old desk. I am so happy this worked. The spec was right. I feel bad covering it with a desk pad. I'm gonna have to get one of the skinny ones. Fortunately, there's this store that has desk pads in pretty much any size you could possibly want. And uh, they're all the same price. Uh, what's this, what's the store called? LTT store. LTT, no, it couldn't be that one because no, they're always out of no, stock. No, they're always out of stock, yeah. Uh, eBay? <laughs> Just like this is the right time to tell you about our sponsor. Squarespace lets you create a beautiful website without the hassle. Their all-in-one platform makes it easy and fast to get up running and their award-winning templates can be used for any kind of project and will help your website stand out. If you ever need additional help, Squarespace offers webinars, they've got a full series of help guides, or you can contact their 24 seven customer support via live chat and email. And if you already have a third-party domain, don't worry. You don't have to give it up, just transfer it over to Squarespace. Squarespace even includes e-commerce features so that you can sell merch or services online and easily manage your inventory and orders. So why wait? Go to squarespace.com forward slash LTT and get 10% off your first order. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out one of our previous parts or for a blast from the past, maybe check out the original desk PC video. It was not as good. <laughs>